Let's take a look at a couple of examples. So here we need to convert centimeters into meters. So let's just think about that. Hopefully we know that one meter equals 100 centimeters. So to go from meters to centimeters, we are multiplying by 100 because one times 100 is 100. So therefore centimeters to meters is the opposite, which is dividing by 100. So 853 divided by 100. Remember 853 is 8 to 5, 3.0. And when we divide by 100, we're moving this decimal point one, two positions. So it's now going to be between the eight and the five. So that's going to be 8.53 meters. 8.2 kilometers to meters. So one kilometer is 1000 meters. So to go from kilometers to meters, we're multiplying by 1000. So our calculation is 8.2 multiplied by 1000. So what I'm going to do is try 8.2, put some zeros on the end so that I can move the decimal point three positions. One, two, three. So it's going to go here. So therefore the answer is 8200.000. Zero, 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 zero. Those extra zeros I added, which hopefully you can appreciate don't need to be there. So the final answer is simply 8,200 meters. The final example, hopefully we know that one centimeter is 10 millimeters. So to go from centimeters to millimeters, we are multiplying by 10. So all we need to do is to just stick a zero on the 54 and we've got 540 millimeters. Let's take a look at another example. So here we've been told um, that the length of the wall is 3.8 meters and Christelle is using tiles which are 30 centimeters in length. So we've got a bit of a discrepancy here. Here is in meters and here is centimeters. Now, I'm gonna either convert this into centimeters or the 30 centimeters into meters. Now, if I convert the 30 centimeters into meters, that is gonna be 0 0.3 meters. So that's 30 divided by 100. Now. What I've got now is two decimal numbers, which I don't really like. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna turn the 3.8 meters into centimeters. So 3.8 multiplied by 100 is 380 centimeters. So all we need to, uh, to know is how many 30 centimeters go into 380. So our calculation is 380 divided by 30. And if we just do that on a calculator, we'll get the answer 12.6 recurring. So therefore the number of full tiles is 12 because the 0.6 corresponds to two thirds of a tile which is less than a full tile. So the answer is therefore 12 tiles.